Cinnasticks. I love cinnasticks. Are you gonna drink the icing? Nope. Like Maybe. Icing was, like, like, was meant to be drank. Oh, like we've been friends that. for so long that we are really natural at just like having a thousand conversations yeah. at once. Yeah. Kind of like we'll talk about something and like switch subjects and like switch back like without anyone even knowing like what we're talking yeah. about still. It really ranges. Like we, we talk a lot, about, a lot about stupid stuff like boys and you know, periods and stuff, <laughs> but we also we also have, uh, we also talk about serious issues too, I'd say. And there's a chunk of time dedicated to making fun of our tour manager. Me and Katie met at a Weezer concert in high school. We went to the same high school, but we actually, I knew who you were, but you didn't know who I was. I knew who you were, but I didn't know what you looked like. I just know, I just knew your name. And so I went up to her, like, after the, the concert, like, in the parking lot, and I was like, do you need a ride home? And what did you say? I was like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we love touring, but it is, like, the, I mean, for bands today, like, there's like, record sales really aren't what they used to be, yeah. you know, so, like, touring is really a main source of income. Playing 18 shows in four days, like in theory, it's doable. But in actuality, like by, by the last three shows, you just like start sucking so bad. I like I like I, like the the part of my shoulder where the guitar strap goes like hurt so bad. And every time I was I was wearing my guitar, it just like felt like like this like huge rock was just sitting right here because yeah. I was like it was so crazy. My mom said that my right arm looked bigger. <laughs> I also had bruises all over for some reason. I also had bruises all over my legs. It's like and I had chiggers. <laughs> that really we, all got, we all got chiggers. Everything sucked. Never yeah. ever I mean, do that again. Never again. I think it's something that I would not take back, but I would not do again. Me and, me and my boyfriend were talking about um, Sugar Ray today, <laughs> and like how crazy is it that for Sugar Ray's breakthrough single, Fly. You know, that was the only hit off of that album. And like, because of that song, that album sold like a million copies. That would never happen today. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't think it really affects us now, but, but like all of our first bands were really influenced by music from Olympia. Like my first band was really influenced by Beat Happening. And their first band was really influenced by Bikini Kill. I think we covered like three yeah, Bikini Just songs. the idea that anyone could play music. <laughs> covered Brad and It's a good, good notion. Yeah. I think there's only two songs that are under two minutes, which is crazy because on our first album, like half the songs are under two minutes. These are like your prog jams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely prog Rush. jams. The whole thing was started in <laughs> final mixes in a week. So we did like two days of tracking. Yeah. Like two or three days of vocals. Like eight days total. I yeah. Think. yeah. Three days at the end for mixing. Do you just like practice a bunch before you go in there or not? No. Practice? We had a lot of uh, pieces of paper that were like how the songs went. Yeah. Like maps. Like lyrics like, too. You know, yeah. Four yeah. verses. So, you know, first four one. First two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of the songs were written really last minute for this album. That they came out awesome. There's this huge like yellow notepad in the studio. That by the time we were through, it was like all gone. All gone. <laughs> you were writing lyrics like yeah. outside smoking before. <laughs> I, I have this one like crazy dream that um that we like that someday like we'll have like a one hit wonder kind of thing that we'll, like with a song that sounds kind of like the Go Go's or something and um and then the song will be in karaoke machines and then I'll go do karaoke and sing the song. Yeah. And then everybody's gonna be like, that's so weird, and I'll just leave the karaoke bar. That's a good dream. That's that's like one of my major life goals. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't know who that <laughs> is. <laughs> this is a crazy photo. Maybe in Westwood? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a uh, young one. Mm -hmm. Oh, the boy's name's Vivian. Mm -hmm. The guy is Vivian. Vivian boys. Vivian the punk guy. Oh cool. So, no, no, I told you I can't even name Vivian. I can't think of anyone named Vivian. Oh, I know. That's Ethel. Yeah, that's Ethel, but I don't know her real name. <laughs> I love Ethel. Vivian Vivian something. Vivian Pam. Oh, Pam. Oh, I love her.